name is Antoine Hayden. Today, this is my very first tutorial. Boom! First thing we're gonna be talking about today on this tutorial is frame rate and shutter speed. First off, let's talk about frame rate. The movies shoot at 24 frames per second, so it makes zero sense why wouldn't you shoot at 24 frames per second? Now, I know when you look into your cameras, you see the frame rate, it says 23, 0.975 I think that's 24 frames per second so um but I know you see the 24 frames per second or you see 30 frames per second or you see 60 frames per second the camera that I use goes all the way to 96 frames per second but we'll come back to that so 24 frames per second is the most common frame rate that you should use now when you want to get to the b-roll scenes like the slow motion scenes and the more dramatic type of scenes then we'll go to 60 frames per second. Some people will send me some stuff saying, hey bro, what you think about this video? Think about this video. And I automatically can tell that they shot in either 30 frames per second or they shot in 60 frames per second. Because the video looks very amateur and very trashy. I'll show you some examples. This right here is filmed on 24 frames per second. You see, clean, boom back. Now this right here is filmed on 60 frames per second. It's kind of like home movie-ish type stuff like this. So to recap on all that, the only time that you should be filming in a different frame rate besides 24 frames per second is if you want to get a slow-mo shot and a clean slow-mo shot. So, and that's normally around 60. My camera goes to 96. Some cameras go to 120, okay? The way you adjust your shutter speed is purely based on how, what type of video that you're trying to do. Now, a good example of a high shutter speed would be the opening scene of Saving Private Ryan. If you haven't seen that, here's a shot. And the opening scene of Saving Private Ryan is very raw, very edgy, very jittery, you know what I'm saying? Because it's an action scene. But with those action scenes where the camera's really handheld and you're moving it, you want to get the, the detail. You're trying to get the detail of everything, the surroundings, like the water, the, the body, the blood, everything. You know what I mean? You want to get those surroundings. So if you're doing a music video and you got a very intense rap music video, you're going to want to have your shutter speed higher. Now, the way I vary the shutter speed um, for those high intense videos, you probably want it around 1 over 250. 800 those are the very high shutter speeds are very detailed you can see things when you're moving the camera like that's where you want it to have those shutter speeds now if you're looking for a more cinematic smooth view um you can go with one over 50 to 100 within that kind of range right there that will give you the smooth detail that my 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 back to it so the higher the shutter speed the less motion blur you're going to have with the person and the background back here, okay? So that's it, that's it. So let's recap what we're doing today, okay? Frame rate, when you start shooting frame rates, shoot at 24 frames per second, unless you're shooting B-roll or some slow motion scenes, then switch your camera to either 30 or 60 to get those slow motion scenes. Now, the shutter speed, remember, if you're going for a more edgier and you want the more detail of the subject in the background, you're going to do a higher shutter speed, okay? So between 250 and 800 would be a good shutter speed. If you're going for that more cinematic, slow, you know what I'm saying, cool vibe with more motion blur, then you're going to go from a 50 to 100 shutter speed. Hey guys, thanks for watching my tutorials. If this helped you in any way, please go down and subscribe and share it to somebody who it might help. If you have any additional questions or some tutorials that you would like me to show you, please comment on the bottom. Also, you can follow me on all my social medias, my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, and my other YouTube channel where all the music videos that I've shot are on. Thank you for watching. Watch it again if you need to. And um, 